just start this quarter. They've had it almost uh, four minutes on this snap. They'll have had it four minutes on this drive. Caden quickly out there to Reggie Lewis, trying to get and break some tackles. He's not still on his feet, has the first down, breaks the tackle down to the 25, 20, cuts inside 15, 10, 5, Reggie Lewis. Holy cow, what a catch and a run by Reginald Lewis. Man. Right now they bring a receiver from the far side to this uh, near side going left or right. <laughs> Watch it throw, look at pressure from the back, and he's going to go down. Jeremy Grable gets him from behind, all the way back at the 15-yard line. The David Dean Show, your weekly look at Valdosta State University Blazer football. Here's your host, Dick Rocky, along with head coach David Dean, for a look at this week's Blazer football action. Hello and welcome to the David Dean Show. Valdosta State going back to the Division II National Championship game on December the 15th. A big 35-19 win over Minnesota State Mankato. And Coach, uh, we're just bubbling with excitement. Everybody is. But the first thing, Valdosta State can play in cold weather. That's exactly right. You know, we, uh, I think we proved again that it doesn't matter what uh, type of weather we, we have to play in. Our, our kids get up to play. They're excited about playing. And uh, really, really proud to uh, to say that, that that we played very well in cold weather and in the snow. And you know the game at the, for like the last three or four weeks started off similar. We're down ten to nothing early, but you come back and take the fourteen to ten lead at the half, and that we'll leave it there to get to the second half. But sort of the same start to the last two or three ball games. You know they had the ball. I just told you eleven minutes in the first quarter. Yeah, it seemed like we were never on the field in the first quarter. Of course, we went three and out, which which doesn't help. That that hurts you. And, and that was right after a long drive where they got a field goal. But we got to do a better job of of, of getting off to a, yep. to a quick start. It's gonna it's gonna bite us at some point or another. And hopefully, you know, we can get off to a quick start this next this next week. You know, we, I wish we had more time. I wish we had an hour show today just to talk about the weather up there. It was incredible snowing uh, the night before. The, I mean, big time snowing for yeah. us. And, and we all had a lot of fun, including us being out in it and messing around a little bit in the snow. But uh, that's, the, that's the questions that everybody asks us, even, you know, cold weather, cold weather, cold weather. I think if it was reversed, if they came to Valdosta in August and played, I think that would be a more of an effect on the team. Well, I, I think even if they, they came this week and played, it would have been a huge difference, you know, because it was 70-something degrees all week when we were practicing, and, and that's about what it would have been when we played. And, you know, they've been practicing in, in 30 and 40 degree weather the entire time, and, and that's a huge difference going up in temperature as opposed to going down, in my opinion. Absolutely. Well, let's go ahead and we'll take our first break and come back with the highlights in just a moment. Valdosta State University. Quality academics on campus and online. Caring faculty mentors. A beautiful campus. Opportunities for involvement, leadership, and service. Championship athletics, spirit and pride. Discover your opportunity. Valdosta State University. Coach, we go into this football game and uh, a lot of naysayers really not giving Valdosta State much of a chance. And we've heard that before and, and probably we like that. <laughs> well, you, you always like to be the underdog and, and uh, you like to prove people wrong. And they didn't think we were a very physical football team. They didn't think we could play in the cold. And I think both of those were proven wrong. We, we were very physical in that football game. Uh, we laid a lot of licks on those guys. And we played a great defensive line that, that had no sacks in the game and uh, really no knockdowns on uh, on Caden at all. Just an outstanding job by our offensive line. And no turnovers for Valdosta State. They were like plus 20-something, I think, on yeah. turnovers. Yeah, they were plus 20 on the uh, – I think they were plus 22 on the year with somewhere around 20 interceptions on the year. And for us to go through that entire game with, without turnovers was big. All right, let's get right into the highlights. Blazers had a good group of people there. I, you know, we estimate maybe around 100 total, which uh, for that far away. I was really surprised when, when I came out of the locker room and looked up and saw all the folks up there. It was uh, quite a surprise. We appreciate everybody coming. and They were very loud, very loud, very vocal, just like all the Blazer fans are. And uh, I know they, they were very excited celebrating with our players after the game. Uh, good job here on, on their part to start the ball game. They, they put together an, an outstanding drive, uh, mixing up the throw and the run. Uh, their quarterback is a really very good football player. He's a great manager of the game, throws the ball well, runs the ball well, and 
A great play right there by Matt Pierce that, that stopped them on third down and forced them to go to a field goal, which they hit to go up three to nothing. And we throw a couple of passes and a run here on, on uh, our opening series, and a couple of them were low, and, and we caught the ball on our knees, so we weren't moving the ball. Big play there, and we had a chance for an interception for a touchdown. Tyler Josie bats it, and uh, I think Ryan Smith had a chance for an interception. And then here's their great quarterback just making a lot of things happen. Drops back, and we got everybody covered up, and he breaks loose. And that's the one thing that we did much better as the game goes on. We did not allow him to get away down the field uh, on, on passes, and, and he was hurting us with those type things. And, uh, but this is their second drive. They're, again, they're up three to nothing here, and they put together another, another good drive, and they come down. And uh, here's the field goal that they take to go up three to nothing. So they put together two very good drives. Here's our first play coming back. We throw the ball across the middle there. And then here's a little speed sweep to Reggie Lewis. Uh, Reggie's got great speed, runs the ball very hard. So we end up stalling out. We punt down to them and uh, give them the football back. And again, they come back and, and make an outstanding drive. Here's a great play right there by Matt Pierce. It almost makes the interception. This ball comes out of his hands. And here's just a good throw. They caught us over the middle and uh, they dive in there. And, uh, so now we're down 10 to nothing. And uh, like we've been doing, when, when our backs are against the wall, somehow we respond and we did. We put together this drive to go down. Great read there by Caden on the zone read. He pulls the ball and gets positive yards. And, you know, this is a little mixture stuff that we do. Some screen, screens off the run. Completing the ball to Gerald. And here's a great throw to Shontavious Jones. Makes a big catch to put us down at the 13 yard line. And then a great throw here to Gerald Ford. Watch Gerald get up and get this football, take the hit. And a great response to, the, to their 10 to nothing lead. Cut it back to 10 to seven. And, you can see how we're starting to get closer now to the quarterback. We're starting to, to get that pass rush going again. Here's a play that they've had a lot of success with all year, the little sprint, sprint draw. We didn't let them get loose. They had a great punt, punted us down to the three yard line, and this is the first play off, of the, off the goal line. Austin Scott had an outstanding football game. Great to see him come back and respond. Great throw there to, to Gerald Ford. And, Here's a fourth down play where we get the first down. And then another great throw right here to Reggie Lewis on the corner route. Gets us down to the 12 and then, well, what a great throw. And you watch Shontavious right here. And uh, he's, he's right on the edge, but they review it and uh, it's good. So we're, uh, we take the lead there 14 to 10. And again, here's their same type stuff that we do. We're very fortunate there. They got a, got a holding call. And here's their big play that they like to run. And Pope and Grable there are stuffing it out. Don't let him get loose. And then big play here. Matt Pierce gets him an interception, makes a great play, picks the ball off. You can see kind of in the background right there, a guy jumping up and down. There was Larry Dean. Larry Dean uh, with, the, with the Minnesota Vikings was at the game. It was great to see him there. Big throw here again to Sean Tavius. This is right before the half. We're, we're trying to get down in here, and this is the last play of the half. And, well, Gerald almost brings this one in. Their, their corner makes a great hit on it and knocks it loose, but we were very close to going up 21 to 10 in the half. Absolutely. Coach, that quarterback, I was just so impressed with him. Uh, you know, I, I say maybe exaggerating, R.G. Griffin the third at the Division II level because he throws the ball pretty well, but you, you'd rather him throw it, I think, than run it. He's just a tremendous – Athlete. Well, he is a tremendous athlete, and he's he's one of the main reasons why they were 13 and 0 coming into our ball game. That and their defense, how well they played this year. But uh, you know, he's made their offense run. He's he's had an outstanding year. He's deceptive speed. He doesn't look like he's running that fast, but he's he's hard to he's hard to catch. And then when you do catch him, he's got a great stiff arm. You know, the Blazers had I told you five drives. The first drive, 10, 10 plays, 82 yards, three minutes 50 seconds. 13 plays, 97 yards. Five minutes, 29 seconds, and and you had we got three more than we did in the second half. Just incredibly long drives, and uh, your team was just I mean they were hot. <laughs> well, at, at times we were. We put together uh, very long drives, and and again that helps our defense. It keeps their offense off the field, 
And the most important thing that we're doing on those long drives is we're not settling for field goals. We're yeah. putting the ball in the end zone and getting seven points. All right, we got the lead. We'll come back and watch the second half in just a minute. Valdosta State University. Encouraging. In-depth inquiry. Hands-on experience. Service and involvement. And a global view. While offering. A beautiful residential campus. Over 100 fields of study. Graduate and online degrees. And championship athletics. All in a warm and friendly community. Get connected and involved. Discover your opportunity. Valdosta State University. Welcome back to the David Dean Show. Blazers go to the locker room with a 14 to 10 lead coach. And uh, as you go to the locker room, what, what are you thinking that you want to talk to your team about? <laughs> Well, the one thing that I wanted us to do was to contain the quarterback. You know, I felt like he was the one that, that hurt us in the first half, you know, just making plays with his legs and, and we weren't tackling like we like I thought that we should. We were going down low a lot, not being the physical tacklers that we needed. But the other thing was uh, offensively, we had to make some plays. We had to sus sustain some drives like we did to finish off the first half. And, uh, you know, for us, I think that's what we did in the second half that ended up being a big difference in that ball game. All right, let's watch the second half highlights. And there's, there's some good ones for the Blazers. You've got to watch the catch and run from Reggie Lewis. It's actually, actually made the ESPN uh, top ten plays of the day. I, he I heard that it made the top ten. I'm excited for Reggie. That was uh, probably the, the turning point in the game, in my opinion, because the, he was stopped for a three-yard loss. And uh, he turned it into about a 40-yard 40 -yard, 40 catch. Uh, they get a little squib kick coming off and uh, pin us down in there. They have a touchback and we run the zone play there on the first play and, and we don't get a whole lot. And then good throw right here on third down, the check down throw that Austin Scott makes the catch for a first down. And again, you see what a great pocket our offensive line has given Caden Cochran. He's able to step up and make the throws and doing a great job. Really good job here again with Caden. They were, I think they were been determined they weren't going to let Cedric O'Neill uh, win that game. And here's the play right here with Reggie. You see he stopped. This was a third down and three. And look at the drive. I mean, he's still carrying folks trying to get into that end zone. We counted eight different people that had touched him. Or yeah, they, hit him. they all had a chance on him. And again, great job, great read there by Caden. And Reggie does all the work, like you say, and then Caden walks in there untouched. And, but I think Reggie was as, as excited as anybody for that for that touchdown. That was a big that was a big momentum kicker for us to come out to start the second half and put that touchdown on the board and go up by two scores, 21 to 10. They put together again. You can see right here the very good drive. Here's their other quarterback they have and great play there by Ryan Smith to penetrate and knock it everything backwards and then good. Good play right here by Chris Pope. I thought Chris had another outstanding game. He and Jeremy Grable both played very well. Here's a play right here. I wish we could finish off. We got him about 30 yards deep, and then he somehow or another he squirms away and gets back in field goal range, gives them an opportunity. And there was one right there. I thought Matt Pierce was going to block that and grab him as he came around the edge. But they do put the field goal up, and it's 21-13 now. And Again, Caden does a great job on our read. They kept giving him the opportunity to run the football and he was taking advantage of it. Again, look at the outstanding protection there. A little bit of a high throw there. We're lucky. Tips off of his hands and off their hands and falls incomplete. So we end up having to punt the ball back. Great play there by Tevin Davis. Stopping them and here's the play that, that they had success with in the first half. Great play there by Tyler Josie, not letting the quarterback get outside forcing them into a third and long. And then good play again right here. They throw the ball down the field. We get a tip right there by Mill Magwood and falls incomplete. And then here's a play we threw in at the half, made an adjustment, and uh, Sean Tavius and, and uh, Reggie and Caden Cochran all do a great job of executing that. We get a big throw down the field. And then this is right here towards the end of the third quarter and early in the fourth quarter. We're down here ready to, to put the ball in the end zone. Right there, there's the one they review that they say he didn't get in. And then what a great move right there by Caden to get in the end zone. Well, you feel pretty good now. We just, we're hollering for the clock to run. 
Run, clock, run. Let's get us a stop. Great play again by Tevin. You know, we're not letting that quarterback get loose and, and, and we're making a lot of great plays. Here's a disappointing, we, we missed three tackles right there and give them an opportunity to go to third and five and instead of having them at third and 10. And they make a long throw and that's how they get down here on the goal line and they stick, to, stick it into the end zone. They, big miss right there on the extra point. Instead of cutting it down to, a, to an eight point game, it's a nine point game, a two possession game. Uh, unfortunately, we don't come. We go three and out, and give them the football back, and we ask our defense to make a great stand. And uh, you watch our defense fly around right here. Good play there by Dominique Wheeler, keeping everything in front. Great play here by Ryan Smith, forcing the throw away. Again, they hit us with another big pass, and put the ball down there inside the inside the five. Great play here by Matt Pierce, knocking the ball away on the fade route. And then big sack right here by Jeremy Grable. Beats his man, gets in there. We force him to a field goal, which they miss. And uh, that, was, that was big for us. We put together, right after that, a time-consuming drive. Great runs there by Austin Scott. And you see Gerald Ford blocking down the field. We got wideouts that did an outstanding job on the perimeter blocking their, their uh, defensive backs. Just great running right here, great offensive line play. Big move right there by Austin Scott getting into the end zone. And uh, that pretty much sealed it up right there. We scored with about, about 23 or so seconds left in the game. Coach, uh, you're going to have 2,000 yard rushers, running back freshman, richer freshman. Austin needs about eight yards, I think, to hit 1,000 yards for the season. That's pretty incredible. And all that, a lot of that credit, probably 50% of it at least goes to those, those five guys on the front we don't talk about too much. Well, there's no question. Those guys uh, are, are the reason why we're rushing for 1,000 yards and, and have two guys that have that opportunity to do that. But you also look at how good their defensive front was, and they were a non-factor in the ball game. They, they hardly made any tackles and made no sacks. It's just a, a great Great job by our offensive line. And they came into the game giving up only 300, 273 total yards a game. Blazers hit them for 498 yards yesterday. And, and the other thing was they were only giving up 83 rushing a game, and, and we put up 220. And, uh, you know, we, we didn't do anything fancy. It was the same stuff that we've been doing. Our offensive line just came off and knocked them off the ball. And then, of course, Austin Scott and, and uh, Cedric O'Neill. Caden yeah. Cochran all did a great job of making folks miss. Well, just a great win, a lot of excitement, and I uh, wish we had the time uh, here today to talk about our trip home. Uh, <laughs> maybe we'll get a few seconds to talk about that. Uh, quite a night we had, uh, quite a morning we had also. So the Blazers with the win, we'll come back with the Gander Mountain School Board in just a moment. Welcome back to the Gander Mountain Scoreboard. And Coach, you know it's been a good season if I've only got one score to give you. <laughs> That's right. And here it is. Uh, we, we'll talk more detail about that in the next sex, uh, uh, segment. But Winston-Salem, 41-18 to over West Texas A&M. Maybe not a surprise they won, but by such a large margin. It, that's scary because West Texas a and is a great football team. You go back and look, West Texas A&M beat a team we played, Texas A&M Kingsville, 40 to nothing, And that just tells you how good Winston-Salem is. All right, we'll be back with the uh, Langdale Honda Kia look ahead in just a minute. I got my MBA online at VSU. As a working mom who travels on business, I needed an MBA program that fit my schedule and allowed me to balance both my work and home life. VSU's Web MBA was perfect. I was able to spend time with my family in the evenings and then complete my assignments. My MBA is one of my greatest accomplishments. It was hard work, but I would do it again in a heartbeat. Don't wait. Start your MBA today. Welcome back to the Langdale Honda Kia. Look ahead and coach uh, the look ahead, the one we've been looking for all season. We're going to Florence, Alabama. You got tell us about your trip. You're going to leave uh, Wednesday, I guess. We're going to practice Wednesday morning and we'll probably get away somewhere around 12, 1230 from the field house and we'll bus up to Florence, Alabama and uh, all the uh, the weekly festivities start 
uh, Thursday at lunch with a press conference and then we have a big banquet Thursday night with the two teams and then they have the Harlan Hill luncheon where they'll introduce the, the Harlan Hill candidates which we have an opportunity to go see and then we're, we're able to get by ourselves on Friday. We are going to go visit an, an elementary school and do some reading in one of the elementary schools which was a highlight of our trip last time that we were there so I'm looking forward to doing that again. And then uh, quick morning, you know, we'll turn around on Saturday morning and uh, it's a noon kickoff uh, central time. So we'll get up, get us a breakfast and uh, head over to the stadium and hopefully play well. Coach, let's look back just a moment here. Many, many weeks ago, Valdosta State loses to West Alabama. We're two and two. Everybody's Blazer fans, a little bit of an uproar. What's going on? This team is supposed to be so great. And then something happens mm -hmm. and that football team has not lost a game since. Well, you know, we we did not play our best game against West Alabama and uh, I think our kids knew that. I think they were embarrassed about that and they made a commitment to themselves that from here on out we're going we're gonna to do whatever it takes to win and that's what they've done and they put themselves in a great position to win a national championship. It's not a foregone conclusion. We got to have a good week of practice. We got to work hard. We got to put all the distractions behind us uh, and then we got to play a great football team. What do you know about them, Winston? They mostly they can score points. Yeah, and they're, they're undefeated. So. Yeah, well, they're in the in the AFCA poll, which is the Football Coaches Association poll. They're number one team in the country, uh, and they've been up there in the top five the entire year. Great football team, a lot of speed, uh, outstanding athletes. Uh, I think they have a very good offensive line. It looks like they like to run the ball a little bit more, and they throw the ball. Uh, once we get in here and start watching film a little bit, we'll find out. Uh, your team again has, has recovered through, come through a lot of injuries. A lot of guys are healthy, and they're just, they're just. We've seen for 15 years now so many uh, athletes on this football team, maybe more than we've ever had to, as to the special. I mean, a special receiver, running back, area quarterback. Well, we do, you know, and that, and that's one of the things that you like to do when you're recruiting. You recruit for depth, which is hard to do at the Division II level. All right, Coach, great win. Valdosta State going to the national championship game. Kickoff at one o'clock on December the 15th up in Florence, Alabama. If you have never been to the game, it's a great atmosphere. It's a fun time to be up there as Valdosta State goes for their third national championship during the 2000s. So for the head coach, David Dean, I'm Dick Rocky. Have a great week.